everyone, welcome back to the Sphere Rocket Virtual Assistance YouTube channel. My name is CK and today I have an awesome guest. She's actually one of my close friends here in the internal team of Sphere Rocket. She's hardworking, she's talented. So let's give a warm welcome to Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi, hi CK. Hi, everyone. Oh my God, thank you so much, CK, for that uh, wonderful introduction. Yes, so, I'm yeah. so happy. <laughs> Finally, I'm I got so a chance well. to interview you. Yes. So I'm excited Bella, as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you please uh, tell everyone watching right now um, your name, tell us a little bit more about yourself, and especially how long you've been working here at Sphere Rocket. Okay, so by the way, I am Isabella Navales, and well, you can call me Bella for short. I've been working here for seven months now, going 8th on uh, the 24th. And of course, you know, aside from work, Bella, what do you like to do for your hobbies, like your free time? Yeah, um, I like to do a lot of things. I'm actually like a jack of all trades, <laughs> you know. I like to play instruments, so I have here guitar, I have piano, violin, digital drums. I just like to explore things and I also like to draw portraits, painting and the like. Yeah, it's just so many hobbies that I have. <laughs> Yeah, that's so cool. And I think that's why I was very, very interested in you, like right when I uh, got a chance to meet you here at Sphere Rocket because you were doing so many things. You were an artist and then I found out that you also love playing um, instruments. So it's just so yes. cool. <laughs> and um, Bella, can you please tell us uh, what's your job position here at Sphere Rocket? Like what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? All right. So um, I am a sourcing manager here at Sphere Rocket. So on a daily basis, I call um, applicants. Um, my main task is actually to look for um, candidates that um, I can endorse to the recruiters for an interview. Um, just a brief history, I started here as a recruitment executive. And well, it's funny because I actually applied as a video editor and graphic designer. And then after my real estate virtual assistant training for three days, uh, my trainer endorsed me to um, an internal position so I was actually offered the podcast position and then yeah I was actually surprised when I when I got hired here I um, became part of the recruitment team which is actually one of my wins I started here as a non-experienced PA and now I have like um, you know I met a lot of friends here I've learned a lot of experiences that I never had before and um, I always thought it that I am more on the creative side. So um, when I think of it, um, Sphere Rocket really gave me um, the chance to discover myself more and yeah, to discover the skills that I never knew I had. Because what I realized is that everyone has what it takes to become a virtual assistant. It's just that, you know, they're too afraid to try. And yeah, you know, you're, you're, you're nothing, nothing good ever come from fear, so yeah. Uh, that's so true, Bella, and I love that you said that because I know that uh, people who are watching right now, they're curious about the company. So um, I know I went through that phase where I just searched everything about Sphere Rocket. I watched all Justin Nelson's YouTube videos and I searched their Facebook, Instagram. So, you know, if there are people watching right now who want to try here at Sphere Rocket, but um, I don't know, maybe they're nervous or like what you said, uh, they're fearful like don't worry like we are both me and Bella are both like living testimonials that once you get out of your comfort zone and just give yourself a chance like everything will really work out for you yeah I love that and Bella can you please tell us like as a sourcing manager what is the most challenging part for your like your day day-to-day -day tasks what's the most I don't know maybe it's a struggle or something you're still working on can you share it with us Okay, so another brief history <laughs> because this um, department uh, just started about I think last January and yeah, there weren't many people in the team so um, we are like five in the team including me and I think the struggle is that you have to do a lot of research so when I, become, when I became the sourcing manager, I was like, what am I gonna do here? <laughs> I don't know, I have no idea. Although I have the experience doing um, like basic lead generation, um, looking for people that we can interview. Because as I have mentioned back then, I was a recruitment executive. And um, the most challenging part about that is you have to look for candidates via um, 
different social media platforms. Not everyone's going to reply you. Not everyone's serious about applying. Not everyone's gonna answer your call. You know, calls is part of your da- um, daily tasks. So <laughs> that's one of the biggest struggle. And yeah, knowing that um, you're actually located in the US, so um, we cannot expect everybody to answer your call during the evening. So it's usually in the morning. Um, aside from that, the struggle I think would be um to become uh, a, a better manager for you know for your team because i think it's hard i never had the experience but yeah as i mentioned a while ago i came here i didn't have any experience with the admin i'm more on the creative side and back then what i was actually doing is filming so yeah i'm a director and video editor for a small production team that just started um yeah. <laughs> yeah, which makes sense I, because I that's you, it. you, um, what do you call this? You applied as a video editor because that was your yes. experience, and it's just yeah. crazy. Like your career just blossomed into something new, something that you've never experienced before. Which for me is also a good thing because, um, like what you mentioned, there were talents that got unlocked that you'd never knew yes. that you had or you never knew that you could do. So that's also very very inspiring because sometimes uh, we have a mindset that this is it this is my path um, this is the way I'm gonna go and there's nothing wrong with that but there's also um, nothing wrong also with opening up your mind and just trying different things out because you never know what if you're good at something but you actually yes. don't know that because you never tried it right so <laughs> yes. I super love your story Bella <laughs> you so and, much yeah moving on actually to the next question I wanted to ask for you um, all those, the time that you've been working here in Sphere Rocket, what's your favorite thing? Like, what out of everything that you've experienced already, what's your favorite thing about working here in Sphere? Okay, so let me think about it. Okay, <laughs> I already have it. Um, my uh, the best thing about working here at Sphere Rocket is I have never been in a team that actually supports each other. Like, you don't feel like someone's superior. Um, you don't feel like you don't belong you know it feels like you're a part of a family and then you met a lot of people you became friends with them um, aside from that you learn from them to me the most important thing is growth so if you're gonna let me choose between um, which is more important is this the career or monetary gain for me it's the career because um, having a stable job is um, actually the best thing that you can ever have in your life money will just come and go but your career it will stay forever and, and yeah um, the most important part about working at Sphere Rocket is you know there is growth because when I started um, as a non-experienced PA I've only been here for like five months and then I got promoted you know they know that you do not have the kind of experience but all you hear from your um, on-site CEO so Ms. Sharon she always say like uh, you're doing a great job that's great and thank you so much for your hard work you know hearing those uh, kind of things it's actually very uh, motivational so you have a lot of struggles when you are working but um, when I think of it I think when you're going to weigh between the good and the bad actually there is more of the good okay so I think stress is just part of it and everywhere you go, every task is repetitive, every task is, you know, stressful. So yeah, the best thing about working here at Spear Rocket is that you'll still be able to do the things that you've been doing before. It's a work, work-life work balance. I love that. That's so true. And something that you mentioned earlier was uh, how appreciative they are here. And I also experienced yes. that firsthand, you know, um, whenever I, I don't know, accomplish a task, even though I know that I did a good job and I'm not really seeking that external validation from, I don't know, my uh, management or something, but when they do give that praise, like, wow, I'm very amazed, like you did a great yes. job. It does give you a feeling like, okay, I'm, I'm doing something good here. I'm doing something great. So it does give that uh, little boost of inspiration and motivation. And um, again, I know we shouldn't be relying on that. We should have our own like self-discipline. We should have our own self-motivation. But the fact that they really do their best to like prioritize uh, making sure that we're appreciated goes such a long way. 
So that's, yes. that's a good thing you mentioned that because I could totally relate. <laughs> And yeah, Bella, um, can you please describe one memorable experience that you had with the internal team of Sphere Rocket? Okay, so the most memorable um, experience that I had, I think it's, it's the Christmas party, remember that? <laughs> yeah, that was the first time meeting everyone um, mm-hmm, from the mm-hmm. team. You know, on a daily basis, you're just like meeting people via Zoom. You know, you're, you're like, yeah, it's, it's just like um, you're friends with them on the internet and then you got to meet them in real life um also i think the best part about that is to get to bond with them um it never felt awkward you know meeting people the first time i think uh, yeah that, that is the best thing amazing and i think almost everyone who went to the christmas party said that which was their most memorable experience was meeting um all of us at the christmas party having the bonding moment and just enjoying we were just having fun like all the games that we played all the performances it was just i think um very special when a company has that uh, bond between each other because it really shows that we respect one another, we appreciate one another. So yeah, that's a good memory, Bella. <laughs> and again, uh, it's actually quite a short interview, so we're down to the last question. Um, it is basically, yeah. what's your message to those people who want to apply here at Sphere Rocket, but they're having second thoughts, they're having doubts, they're quite hesitant, what would you like to advise them? Okay, so my advice would be, you know, I never regret being part of this team. Uh, If you wanted to apply, you have to try, you know, you have to go for it because as I have mentioned a while ago, nothing could ever come from fear. So how would you know you qualify if you're not going to try? And you know, failure is just a reminder that you have to grow. Now, like, you have to do something about uh, your weaknesses because the most important um, thing is knowing your weaknesses and strengths. And how would you know if you're not going to try, right? So life is short. (laughs) Just enjoy it. And, you know, when you are offered um, this kind of job is permanent work from home, virtual assistant. Um, it's super fun, and yeah, you get to work in the convenience of your own home. So you should try. <laughs> yes, life is short, so take the leap, take the opportunity, and give yourself a chance. So that's perfect advice, Bella. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> So yeah, just to wrap up the interview, I wanted to say that everyone here at Sphere Rocket really does appreciate you. We're grateful that you're part of the team for everything that you do here at Sphere Rocket. Uh, we're very, very happy that you know we, we, we get it to work with you. So that is basically oh. it. <laughs> um, again, thank you and have a great rest of your shift. All right, thank you. Bye, CK. Bye, Goodbye, everyone. Bella. Bye-bye.